Hi right, guys, so a bunch of developers over at Infinity Word recently did an interview and there is a bunch of different things within that interview. I want to show you guys a clip from this that actually is them giving us sort of this promise, sort of this statement that we are going to make sure that this game is made for the players. I want to play this clip here and we're going to talk about what that means for the game and how it increases the chances of us actually having a good year with a lot of good stuff to come. So let me play the clip and here you go. Getting down to it, are you ready? <laughs> she says, let's be real. There are going to be loot boxes in this game, isn't there? We can't really comment on uh, NTX or the Earth systems for that. Like right, right now, it's all beta, 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 and then launch the game. Um, all I can say is that we're pushing really hard to create a you know player first or player forward system. It's something that's really important to us on the development side. Um, we want when we release new content for players to get access to that content and have fun with it. And so it's it's a huge focus for us. You know, we want we want players enjoying our game, having fun in our game. So obviously you guys know they can't exactly comment yet on the supply drop situation, but I do like how upfront they are about, especially this game, being player focused on how they want the people to get the weapons. They want the players to get these weapons, get the new DLC content, whatever that is, whether it's the form of, like I said, weapons or maps or new camos or whatever they're adding as DLC content within this game. They want players to actually have access and have fun with those weapons like that's their main priority and they're saying up front here that that is what they want to happen for the game so that's a, a surprisingly a huge deal because if you guys remember last year Treyarch they said not the same thing they definitely weren't as enthusiastic and as sort of hardcore determined as these guys are but David Von Hart did say that you know our, a bunch of other developers as well over at Treyarch last year that the cosmetic um, sort of loot box situation within Black Ops 4 would stay at that point and would never go past cosmetic items and it would always be cosmetic and that was obviously not the case I don't want to get into that again but you guys know they just flat out lied this time around they're making a promise here they're saying this is what we want it to be we want players to have access to everything we want players to have fun with it and that's our main priority but we need to make sure that they actually follow through with this a lot of the people on Reddit and pretty much everywhere that I see my comment section, we all are in agreement that these developers really are genuine and care about the game. Someone says here, whenever I hear any of the developers actually talk, it's clear to me that they are all very genuine and I trust what they say. Now, I have to agree this time around, it really does seem like these guys, ever since the May reveal of Modern Warfare, when they were talking about this campaign being realistic and gritty, and when they had the whole censorship controversy, they really stuck it out and made sure that they stuck true to what they believed in they wanted to make a fun different innovative game that brings us back to the roots of call of duty but also innovates in new and exciting ways and it seems like they really are passionate about that obviously guys back from mw2 cod 4 came back over to work on this game because of that vision because of that passion so it's we're in a really good situation here so i think a lot of us should be excited but again like i said we have to make sure they follow through with what they're saying here because time and time again we have been lied to we have been scammed, some say, and it's just not a good situation here. So someone else said, there was an interview with an anonymous dev from Treyarch, for obvious reasons, he was anonymous, and they said that the reason Treyarch games have the most predatory microtransaction system is because Treyarch's fan following is the most hardcore, and they're willing to bend over for any microtransaction release, no matter how bad. Basically, he's saying it's the easiest fan group of the three studios to manipulate and take advantage of. It all makes sense because Black Ops 4 had the most predatory system not even seen in some free to play games, yet they've had the greatest microtransaction sales of, of any COD game so far, so safe to say I will never touch a Treyarch game again. So that is very interesting, and I think the problem was that Treyarch and Activision, or at least Activision, they thought that Treyarch had the most prominent and just extremely 100% loyal following to their games. They thought wrong, and people turned on Treyarch so quickly. Treyarch obviously was seen as the best developer right after honestly black ops 2 the release of black ops 2 really solidified Treyarch as a top tier developer it used to be infinity word back in the day but Treyarch took over black ops 2 even black ops 3 Treyarch definitely took over that title and with black ops 4 a combination of the game not being complete and also the insanely terrible microtransactions 
people don't stand for that. People aren't that blindly loyal to a game, to a franchise, to a company developer where they're going to spend all this different money. Like most people could see that they're being scammed and they realize that we all realize that and they were wrong. Activision, if this is true, obviously, which it sort of makes sense because Infinity Ward overall i mean uh, you know with cod 4 remastered obviously it wasn't or modern warfare remastered that was raven software but it was alongside infinite warfare and infinite warfare in general cod ghost even you know the microtransactions were relatively good from i mean i didn't really play infinite warfare but from what i heard from you guys it's relatively one of the better microtransaction systems we've seen in past cod games and I think Infinity Ward overall haven't really had the worst microtransactions. Obviously, Black Ops 4 takes the cake with that, but we you know we're, we haven't really seen yet what Modern Warfare is going to give us. So we can't go too far in and just completely blind trust Modern Warfare and Infinity Ward, just like Activision thinks we're going to do. Activision's probably looking at us thinking like, oh, all these kids are so hyped for Modern Warfare, we could pretty much do anything and they're going to buy it. They're going to buy the microtransactions because they're just so hyped for this new game. Um, but that can't be the case. So we have to remember that we have to stay true to our values, okay? Now, I do trust the developers. They seem genuine, but we have to make sure they actually keep their promises and they make this game really well done and fair and balanced and obviously all the good stuff. So thank you guys so much for this. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.